18, 1961. According to news accounts, Betty and Barney Hill were driving through New Hampshire late at night when a large flying saucer rapidly approached them and then hovered over their car. They saw strange figures through the windows of the craft. And mysteriously, the couple also reported complete memory loss of the two hours immediately following the encounter. No one really knows to this day what Betty and Barney Hill saw. However, the details of their case do reflect on various other versions of alien abduction. I say alien abduction because some of the pieces of information that they discuss, the loss of time, seeing beings that actually came out of this craft and associated and interacted with them, and they weren't human. Ultimately, under hypnosis, they recall being brought out of the car and taken aboard the ship, that it was a legitimate abduction, and that Betty pleaded with her captors, if you will, that not to harm her. Uh, as she laid on this table and experiments were done on her, like a needle being inserted into her stomach, Barney relates a number of skin samples and sperm being taken from him. The beings described by Betty and Barney Hill fit the classic case of a gray. Now, there are variations to size and dimensions of these beings, but they all seem to have the same characteristics. Slim, skindly bodies, large oval heads, large oversized eyes. The Hills were the first documented case of an alien abduction in modern time. But it is not the last. 